a THOG video. Hello! I'm going to be talking about a new project that I'm kicking off today. Now I'm a big fan of books like Yes Man, if you've read it, or even if you haven't, where people go off and do slightly odd quests. They travel the world and meet new people and go on adventures and do all kinds of exciting stuff. In the case of Yes Man, if you've not read it or if you've not seen the movie, a guy is basically told on the bus to say yes more, um, takes it really to heart and says yes to everything, and he goes to Amsterdam and he goes to Singapore just because he saw an advert for it, and then he basically any off offer that he gets, he accepts, and he says yes to, and he goes all over the place and has lots of exciting adventures as a result. Now I've always fancied doing something kind of similar, but I've never really known what to do or how to do it, as many of us, and I'm sure anyone watching this, we can't necessarily just drop everything and just go and travel the world. I have a family that I love very much. I have a job that generally requires me to turn up to an office. Now and again, at the very least, the same as many people. So, I've thought of a way that I can, and anyone else, including yourself, could take part in a slightly odd quest. This is a travelling book. The plan is for me to mail this book to someone. They, I've, I've written in it, I mail it to someone else, they write a couple of pages about themselves, where they live, anything cool or exciting or interesting that, that they want to say, they put in the book, maybe some photos, you could put a joke in or some words of wisdom or wisdom or something else that I've not thought of, whatever you like, you stick in the book, and then after you've put a couple of, two or three pages in, you then send it to someone else. Uh, agreeing beforehand, ideally, that they're happy with this and they're happy to send the book on to someone else. And basically, it just goes on like that from person to person to person all over the place. It could go to your next-door neighbour, it could go to someone in, in another country. It's entirely up to you who, who you find and who you think would be interested in doing this. And when the book is finally full, there's about 100 pages, so when, when it's finished, the last person, right at the back of the book, there is my email address. And they email me, I let them know my personal address, and then they send it back to me. I will then scan the book and put it up on the internet so we can see where it travelled. This way, you can take part in a slightly unusable quest, and you don't really have to do that much. All you've got to do is write a little bit about yourself, maybe stick a couple of photos in, and then mail it to somebody else. The book isn't too big, so hopefully it won't cost too much to, to mail. Just to kind of briefly go through the book, there's some sort of guidelines in here for people that obviously haven't seen this video. Um, I've put in a few photos and a little bit of information about myself. Um, I've used really big thick tape to try and pin those photos down so they don't get loose. Um, um, and then right at the end of the book, there's end of the book, please send this book home. The book isn't too big, so it shouldn't cost too much to mail. Uh, I actually went and, where the place I went to to buy the book, before I bought it, I said, can you weigh it, please? And it's about 350 grams, which is basically okay for me to send overseas. Um, it's not massive, there's about 100 pages, so I'm hoping that it'll get somewhere between 25 and 50 people. So, at the end of that, it'll come back to me, so I'm not waiting years and years and years for the book to be filled and for it to come back home. Obviously, it's going to be a few months, maybe maybe even a year or more, but hopefully I'll still be living where I live now when he comes back. As I've said, I've done the first entry. I've talked a little bit about Hull, where I live, Hull in the United Kingdom. I've still attempted a couple of photos, and as I say, this is really where you come in and how you can get involved. Now, uh, this is the first book that I've made, but I've bought five altogether, so I'm going to make five of these books, and I need people to send them to. If you'd be interested in getting one of these books to write a couple of pages about yourself and then send it on to somebody else that whoever you think, whoever you know would be happy to do with the same, email me at mike.raven at gmail.com with your name and whereabouts in the world that you live. And what I'll do is in one week's time, I'll randomly pick five people to send a book to and I'll email those people to ask for their mailing address. I'd absolutely love for these books to go all over the world. I'm certainly up for mailing it overseas. I hope you will be happy to do the same. Obviously, you know, there is a cost to mailing things, so you have to bear that in mind. If you're wanting one of these books, you know, you're going to have to pay that cost, but I'm paying the cost for mine, and 
hopefully it's, it's not too expensive compared to the sort of fun that we'll get out of doing it. Um, I'd say there's lots of bit of briefing information. Um, I'm aware that if this that if this plan works, obviously I'm not going to see these books for quite a while. So if you're watching this and you've got a travelling book and you're trying to find out a bit more about it, please do feel free to drop me an email, mike.raven at gmail.com or find me a tweet at ravenswingthog and just let me know that the book's okay and whereabouts in the world it is. I'd love to kind of keep track of it. Now, do be aware that, as I've said, when it comes back to me, I'm going to basically scan it and stick it on the internet. And if you put if you put your email address or your Twitter handle in the book, I will get in contact with you and say, I've now done it, here's the book at wherever on the internet, so if you want to go and look at it, you can do. So please do bear in mind, it is for public consumption, so don't put anything in here that you wouldn't be happy with people on the internet seeing. One last thing, and it's something that you can get involved with even if you don't want a book, even if you don't want the, the hassle of writing a couple of pages or printing a photo out or doing whatever. I'd like the books to have names. We've got five books and I think you would just give them a little bit of character if they've got names and then hopefully three months online I'll get a tweet saying, oh, Philip the book is in Africa or wherever. I could certainly name them myself, but I'd either call them book number one, book number two, book number three, etc. Or I'd give them rubbish names like Gandalf or Colin or something. So, if you've got an idea of what to call a book, do get in touch with your suggested book names. Um, email them to me, comment below is absolutely fine, tweet me at Ravenswing Thog, all is grand. And again, I'll have a look at those and in my next video in a week's time I'll let everyone know where the books are going, what we're going to call them, and we'll get this show on the road. So that's the plan, we'll see what happens, I'm kind of excited about this because I think it's quite fun and seeing where the books go, and if you're up for this, thanks for taking part and getting in touch. Uh, as I say, I'll do another video in a week's time to tell you what's happening, um, if there's any sort of updates before then they'll be on my blog which is foggy.blogspot.com so feel free to check that out for updates and uh, look forward to hearing from some of you bye